Kill to Zad. We do not need any allies. We shall go up against the Butcher. There he is. This is uh, the first tint of his Star Lord skin. Kill to Zad. So be it. Base HP 1503. Base auto attack damage 75. Range five and a half standard once per second. His auto attack looks like follows. Here's his dance. Ooh, ah, his taunt. Dance. Mr. Bigglesworth. And let's take a look at his base kit. Death and Decay. We launch an orb and it leaves damage on the ground. Very spammable. Six second cooldown. Second ability, Frost Nova. Creates a Nova that explodes after one second, dealing damage inside and slowing them. And enemies in the center are rooted. So be it. Ding. And then the E, Chains of Kel'Thuzad. Pretty long range. Launch a chain, deal 99 damage to the first enemy hero or structure hit. For, for 4 seconds after, chains can be reactivated to launch to an additional enemy. Pulling both enemies together and stunning them for half a second. Indeed. That's how it looks. The cooldown is 12 seconds. And we shall try it out. Aha! Choose a talent. I'm gonna try how it looks when I don't have infinity cooldown. Okay, cool. Uh, his trait is Master of the Cold Dark. Gain one blight every time a hero is rooted by Frost Nova or hit by Chains of Kel'Thuzad. When you gain 15 blight, the cooldown of all basic abilities is reduced by 2 seconds. They are 6, 10 and 12, so that's pretty nice. And after you gain 30 blight, you gain 75% bonus spell power. When we complete the quests, it looks golden. And everything is a glow. First blood. You will kill Vikings all day, every day. Very cool. Now let's take a look at his talents. The Plague Lands. First, we will reset everything. Set level. We'll go to level 20. Choose a talent. We'll take a look at Choose his talent. talents. Okay, the play clans. Increase death and decay's duration by one second. So it goes from two to three. And when you have that blight completion, it also is a bigger Choose radius. So this is the radius now. We get the quest complete. This is the radius. Nice. Uh, blighted Frost. Frost Nova deals more damage to enemies in the center. And after you gain the Blight, it is also a one second route instead of half a second route. Barbed Chains. Increase the Chains of Kel'Thuzad damage by 125%. So more than double. After you gain the Blight, there is a 15 armor reduction of all pooled heroes by quite a long time. Nice. Level 4 talents. Chains grant shields. 246 shields up to 480, 492. 492. That's not a lot, but you can have it on a 10 second cooldown. Your chains of Kel'Thuzad when you have your quest complete. The master has granted me true strength. 
Additionally, Chains of Kalthazad deals up to 442 bonus damage to shields. Level 4. Phylactery of Kalthazad. Gain 10 regeneration globes. Let's say that we have it. And we have it. And then, when you die, you can activate it to immediately resuscitate yourself at the Hall of Storms. However, you will lose your globe stackage. Your deeds shall be remembered. When you choose not to do so, or when you don't die, you will have 10% lifesteal on all your spells. Which we shall test by taking unnecessary damage. That's pretty nice. Yes, right away. Killing blow. Pretty good. Um, okay. Uh, then talent. armor of the Arclitch. Activate to gain 50 physical armor. So that's against all basic attacks. For 4 seconds. Upon activation, nearby enemies also take 99 damage and are slowed by 35% for 4 Shoot seconds. So the damage is very irrelevant. And this reminds me of Frost Armor, by the way, a little bit. The damage is not so great, but the slow is decent, and you get some survivability. It's on a pretty short cooldown. Level 7. Each time a hero is hit by death and decay, they take 20% more periodic damage. I'll show that one right away. 114. Wait. Uh... Oh, yeah, it's only on the heroes. As the shadow They're a little bit low, the enemy. So normally it does 114 every half second. Oh yeah, there we go. Well, that was it will start looking as critical damage at the third tick. No, the, the fourth tick. Pretty good. So that's nice if you can keep someone in place for a while, either with your own roots or with your allies. Is KT firm? I have not really played him yet. Still trying him out, but he seems really cool. Thanks, uh, Chico Blackout, for the sub. Uh, going to the others. Glacial spike. Create, activate to create a spike Choose that detonates after four seconds, dealing 360 damage to nearby enemies. The spike can also be affected by chains of Kalthazad. Pretty darn cool. We'll try that one more time. Nice. Uh, and then Chilling Touch. Every 8 seconds, Kel'Thuzad's next basic attack hits nearby enemies, deals spell damage instead of physical, and also slows. Oh, I gotta try that. Choose a talent. How will I know it's available? Okay, this icon here in the bottom. Ooh, wow. Wait. Double damage as well. Greetings, friend. Lich power, yo. Wait, why am I doing double damage? Uh... Chilling touch deals bonus damage on trade completion. Um... Oh, it's not double. Can't wait for the KT nerf in the following patch. Go, go, grub, bizarre. Wait, it is double. Why? I get 75% spell power. I do a base of 158. So I should be doing 277 damage. Tonight on PTR, and is it possible to join? I am playing it. It's possible to join if you join channel Asus ROG, Asus Republic of Gamers. Try mode has problems resetting. By your word. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, there's some bug, but okay, we understand it for what it does. 
Uh, we're not supposed to have double, but we are supposed to have double damage because it's spell and he has more spell power. That makes sense. So that's a very cool synergy with your trade completion. And also cool that it slows every 8 seconds. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, we'll move on. Frost Blast. Launch a meteor of ice. Wait, wasn't it called Cryo Blast? They renamed it. Launch a meteor of ice at an enemy hero. Uh, upon the impact, it deals damage to its target, more damage to enemies in the area, and all enemies hit are also rooted. And what is the range on this baby? Not bad. Wow. Very cool, very cool. Uh, okay, and then the other one, Shadow Fisher. Creates a fissure mm. anywhere on the map, dealing oh, 720 damage, and it explodes with a one and a half second delay. The cooldown is very short, 15 seconds. Choose a talent. Yes. That will be of great it's a very small circle. Yes. The good old oh, spam your abilities. <laughs> okay. Um, Icy Grasp. Increase Frost Nova's slow duration by one and a half seconds. So it goes from... A slow of two and a half to four. Chains of ice. After the stun expires, the enemy is also slowed for a short period for 70 second, seventy percent. Chain link. Cooldown reduction when you pull two heroes together. Choose a talent. Okay. Um, Choose a talent. Arcane echoes. Whenever Keltuzad hits an enemy hero with death and decay's explosion. The cooldown is reduced. Yes, right away. Okay. H Hunger and cold. Enemies rooted by Frost Nova take an additional 101 damage each time they are damaged by Kel'Thuzad. Wow. Choose a talent. 101, 101, 101, 101. Very strong. A kind of father ability. Similar vein to Probius' level 7 warp, uh, warp rift talent. Kind of like spree. vulnerability, like many others have at 16, but this one is only for Kel'Thuzad himself. Power of Ice Ground. Stunning, rooting, or slowing a hero grants spell power up to 30% for 10 seconds. Wow. And then finally, level 20. Hitting a hero with Shadow Fisher resets its cooldown. Oops. <laughs> Very nice. Come on. Well done. Very cool, very cool. Um, shifting malice. Activate to dash forward, dealing damage to enemies in it in the path. Takedowns reset the cooldown of shifting malice. Wow. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Greetings, friend. Okay, this is the range, about the same range as auto attack. It will be my pleasure. Yeah, it's about auto attack range. A killing blow. So I got the reset actually. Any takedowns reset the cooldown. It I don't think that it matters whether you take them down with shifting malice or in general. To test it I shall do this. Well, double yeah. kill. Wow, that means anytime he gets a kill, he has an escape. And he has more damage, dash. Yes, Very right cool. Way. But otherwise, it's on a four minute cooldown. The Damned Return. Activate to create a Choose shade a of Nasra Choose Naxramas. Nax is out. That lasts 15 seconds and mimics Galthus's casts of death and decay. Does he dance too? Greetings, nope. friend. <laughs> Enemy slain. So be it. 
Okay. And it doesn't look like it has a health bar, so Man. it can be nice. It can be quite nice. <laughs> Double kill. And finally, Choose the other talent. heroic upgrade. Death Choose Chill. When Frost Blast root expires, enemies are slowed by 40% for 3 seconds. And heroes oh, killed while under the effect of Frost Blast instantly release another Frost yes. Blast explosion. Rooted. Slowed. Okay. While under the effects. Okay, let's, let's try to get that to pro. Double kill. So I, I guess it happened. Yet another link. In the chain. Well done. Just spamming abilities at this yeah. point. So that's uh, that's Kelthus out. So there's some obvious synergies in this kit. Since there is a uh, delay of half a second on Death and Decay. And there is a delay of one second for Frost Nova. Ideally, you do a link, then you cast the Nova, you link them in. So something like that. You do this and this, and then set that, and everything will explode at the same point. But overall, Kel'Thuzad seems like a powerful hero that requires a good amount of practice. And if you do. If you can master the cold energies, you should be quite a force to be reckoned with. Very nice. Yeah, no ice block or anything, but he does have some defensive talents. He has lifesteal. He has a regeneration uh, to the Hall of Storms with that phylactery talent at level 4. Uh, so, some pretty cool stuff. And of course, I didn't have my traits complete yet, so... You have no follower. You have no power here. 